What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at another food review. And today we're taking a look at a creamy cappuccino Costa packet. Normally, when we take a look at coffee here on the channel, I normally go through the process of making it. For this video, I unfortunately didn't do that, but literally all you do is put the packet in the cup, put the water in the cup, stir it twice, well, stir it once, leave it for a minute, then stir it again, and then boom, you have your creamy cappuccino. I'm going to be honest, this Costa packet is blue. Not one of my favourites. I have had some of these before. Just try and get better with making them. Because, for whatever reason, the blue one I can just never make right. And there's always, like, clumps and bits in the bottom. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's just a blue packet or if it's just me. But, um, giving it one final stir here. I have let it cool down a little bit so I can drink it for this video. And, without any further delay, let's get into it. Now, this is not sweet, it is, it just tastes like coffee to me. There's no sort of real distinction between a cappuccino and coffee, it just tastes like regular coffee that I would buy from Costa. No sugars, no sweetness, just plain coffee with a little bit of milk. Nothing too special, nothing too exciting, it doesn't have no unique taste, it is just straight coffee, nothing exciting going on. Um, the more and more I drink this, the more and more, like, little bits that I see at the bottom, and it does upset me a little bit, but, um, all important, second sip. It's just Costa coffee without any sugar in it. So if you did want to improve this, or if you do like sugar like me, you can put sugar in it, but I'm just here to review the packet, not the sugar. So, the packet on its own, pretty weak, pretty basic. Um... You don't need to add milk, you don't need to add anything to it, um, it has like powdered milk already in there, and it just tastes like regular coffee, there's nothing that exciting about it, it's not going to change your day, it's not going to change your coffee making experience, it's a little bit quicker um, when making it, but um, other than that there's nothing too special about it, it's just more efficient on a morning, and it just tastes like normal coffee that you'd get from like Tesco or somewhere. Again, we normally do a sniff test. Would you look at that? I can't smell anything, so whoop de do. Don't talk to me until I've had my coffee either. I, I need my coffee every morning before anyone can talk to me because I won't process it. But um, all jokes aside, the coffee, it's all right. It, it it's just basic coffee. I know I've like sort of been putting like a shitter on it this entire video, but. It is just basic coffee, there's nothing that special about it, but it does do the job and it is still coffee, so I am still going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. So other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video, I'll see you all next time, I hope you all have an excellent day, and goodbye, stay home and stay safe.